So, golf gifts. There are so many options out there, but in my opinion, it can be quite difficult to get the right thing. So if you're looking for inspiration, ideas, for what to get the golfer in your life, this list may help a little bit. So I've broken this down into what I call little bits, so kind of 15 pound and under. We then jump to 30 pound and under, then up to 100 pound and under, and then over 100 pounds. I've broken this whole video down so you can skip through to find your kind of respective budget. Or if you wanna watch the whole way through, maybe get some inspiration for kind of all of it. Go for it. To start off with, we've got what I'm calling little bits. So these are things that like 15 pound and under, I'm thinking stocking fillers, you know, little extra gifts, maybe secret Santa type things, just little ideas. And number one, we've got hand warmers. We're going into winter, pretty invaluable thing in some cases. Keep your hands warm. And they are like, what, two quid for some of those crack ones. You can get USB rechargeable ones, a little bit more expensive, but hand warmers, always a great idea, always really useful. And number two, we have foot spray. And hear me out here, because it's actually a really great training aid if you weren't already aware. A lot of golfers now use it for things like impact drills. Something which is, again, really inexpensive, maybe two pound, couple of dollars. Just, it's an easy, easy win for someone who is looking to improve their game. Next on the list are bamboo golf tees. Now I have, I'll admit, said before that golf tees are a bad present to get people, but I think bamboo golf tees, firstly, great for the environment, which I think is a good thing. With a lot of these bamboo golf tee companies now, they offer kind of a variety pack where you can get 40 or 50 and it'll be split up into two different sizes. You'll have some for your irons, some for your woods. I think you just can't go wrong with that. And when they're only like three or four pounds for a pack, it's, a, it's again, it's a great little gift to get someone. Next on the list, I have indoor golf balls. Again, different kind of varieties out there. You have the aero golf balls, which are just plastic. You have squishy foam ones. Doesn't really matter. Personally, I prefer the foam ones. You get a little bit of feedback from them, but in reality, probably all do just as good a job. They're great for wet weather, miserable days, when the golfer is getting a little bit antsy, just lets him release a little bit of golfing stress. I've then got indoor chipping nets on the list. Probably a controversial one, you know, you don't want to go breaking anything in your house, but it would pair well with the indoor golf balls. And again, really quite inexpensive. You can get them on Amazon for about 10 quid. I've then got golf books on the list. Uh, it's probably a bit more difficult with golf books because there are so many out there. If I was to recommend a couple, I'd say Zen Golf, um, Golf's Not a Game of Perfect, and you've got Tom Coyne's A Course Called Ireland or A Course Called America. They all do different things. Some are good for you know, people practicing, some are good for just a bit of inspiration. But again, usually you know, 10 to 15 pounds, just can't go wrong. The final thing I'm putting in the little bit section is a club cleaning multi-tool. Now these things are wonderful. I used to think they were a little bit of a kind of gag gift at first, but I've had one in the bag for a couple of years now. Keeping your clubs clean is paramount to making sure that they work properly. You know, keeping your grooves clean, it just helps so much. And having a little multi-tool like that in your bag, which you can pop out any moment, give a club, give your club face a little clean, invaluable. And for like five pounds, more often less than that. Yeah, a really good little gift. Moving on to the 30 pound and under bracket. Top of this list, I have what I call a bespoke custom ball marker or divot tool. Now there are loads of companies out there. There's uh, Sawyer Golf Company, there's Northern Ball Markers in the UK, plenty over in the US, which create things which are just a little bit more unique. You know, hand stamping, properly engraved. These things actually don't generally cost that much more or if at all more than those things you'll find on Etsy. You know, 25, maybe 30 pounds for a ball marker. Yes, it's a small little thing, but ball markers are like gold dust. A good ball marker is like gold dust to a golfer. And if it actually means something, if it's from someone who cares, it's a, it's a great gift. Another good gift, a little bit of an odd one, is a shoe bag, a monogram shoe bag. So something custom. Most golfers, you'll see, especially in the winter, you know, golf shoes come off, could just get thrown into the trunk of their car and mud gets everywhere. You've got a nice little bag to put them in. 
makes all the difference. Keeps your car clean and generally speaking keeps the shoes a little bit cleaner. A great idea, usually around 20, 25 pounds. So not breaking the bank. Maybe not the most exciting gift in the world, but when you, you, know, you customize it, you monogram it, whatever, just adds a little bit more thought to it rather than just it being a, a normal boring shoe bag. Then there are custom golf prints. Now, these again can range in price massively. Uh, depends what kind of size you're getting, where you're getting it from. But generally speaking, I found a good one, you know, a good like custom print poster. It's about 30 pounds. Now it could be a print of anything. You know, it could just be a, a, a nice golf photo. One thing that I really like are these prints of golf courses and golf holes, especially when they mean something to the golfer. I've got one. It's a print of the first golf course that I ever played. And that means a lot to me. You know, it's a great, it's a great little work of art. You know, it's not too in your face golfy, so it could go up in any home. And I just think there's a lot of thought that goes into that. They look great. And in reality, they're not that expensive. Get them framed, fine, the framing. It might fall into the kind of the, the 50 pound category, but as a poster itself, it's a, it's a good idea. The next thing on my list is a massage gun. A little bit out of left field, but these are incredibly popular now. And before you get on to me, I know that they are incredibly expensive. Some of these things can be 150, 200 quid, if not more. I have one myself. I actually bought it for myself a couple of months ago now. Bought it on Amazon. It was 23 pounds. Probably the best 23 pounds that I've spent on myself in a long time. And yeah, it's not a name brand and there might be some sort of issue with it down the road, but so far it's done the absolute wonders. No issues with it at all. And I think for someone who plays golf a lot, gets a little bit achy, a massage gun is a great idea. If you want to buy a really expensive one, by all means go for it. But just know that there are great options out there, generally speaking on Amazon, for £30 and less, in some cases way less. Another gift which I think is a great option in and around that kind of £20 mark is a golf magazine. So I'm not thinking kind of, you know, today's golfer, golf digest type magazine. I'm thinking something a little bit more arty, a little bit more soulful, like a golfer's journal or Lynx diary. These things, the, the photography in them, the stories in them, always absolutely impeccable. You know, they come out once a month, once a quarter. Of course, you can get subscriptions to these. They are way more than £30. But uh, in generally speaking, I think one magazine, get the person into it and see if they like it. Because it could then also be a recurring gift. That's thinking. Next on the list, again, kind of going down that indoor training vibe, is a putt-out cut out pressure trainer. Now these things have increased massively in popularity over the last few years, especially with lockdown. If the person you're looking to buy for doesn't already have one, then I think it's almost a no brainer. 20, 25 pounds. They are a great way to practice putting indoors. If you don't have carpet, that's a bit of an issue. You can get mats with them. Again, price goes up, but start with the, the putt out trainer itself and you can go from there. Final one on this 30 pound and under list is a golf towel. Now, it sounds a little bit boring when you say it like that, but there are so many companies out there doing some awesome designed golf towels. And again, they're usually around 20, 25 pounds, under 30 pounds at least. Some of them can be customized. They just, they make a great gift and a golf towel is always useful. So add golf towel to the list. Jumping up to 100 pounds and under. Now at this kind of budget, there are loads of options to choose from. So I've picked out a few things which I think would make for great gifts, but in reality, you know the person you're buying for better than I do, so maybe this will be inspiration rather than actual suggestions. First on this list, I have golf head covers. A good head cover, you know, for a driver, three wood, putter, whatever, can make a really great present. It can get a little bit tricky because they can be very personal to the golfer, but there are a lot of great companies out there selling some really cool designs these days. You know, head covers aren't just novelty, fluffy animals anymore. They can look really great. And it, like I say, can make a great present if you get the right one. Next on the list is a portable Bluetooth speaker. Now there are loads of options out there. Again, prices can vary. You can get cheap ones, you can get, you know, spend hundreds of pounds on them. But if you have something which you can clip to a golf bag, absolutely ideal. For anyone who collects golf balls, a golf ball display case can be a really great gift. Now these do range pretty massively in 
price depending on the size, the style, how they're made. I found a couple online that are around the £75 mark. You know, they hold about 27 balls, so that may be excessive for some people. But uh, yeah, like I say, if someone collects golf balls, I think a display for them is, uh, is a great idea. Another one which falls on the, maybe the more boring side is a golf umbrella. So a good golf umbrella, which has you know, a double canopy, something which is robust and will stand up to a bit more you know, inclement weather. Is, uh, it's a great purchase and something which will be used time and again, provided it doesn't break and will be in the golf bag for, for years. Generally speaking, you can find something really good for about 50 to 60 pounds. Again, it's quite expensive for a golf umbrella, but a good one is absolutely worth it. For those people who like to film themselves when they're out on the course, so whether that's on the course or on the driving range, I really recommend the iRange Sports Stick. They are about 70 pounds, so again, not cheap for what it is. The magnetic connection to your phone case and then to the stick itself, uh, how portable it is, how lightweight it is. For anyone who's currently using a tripod to do this, to take out on the course and film themselves, their world will be absolutely changed by this. So it would be a really, really good gift to get for that kind of person. Next on the list, I have insulated water bottles. Again, loads of options out there. You've got Yeti, Ocean Bottle, um, Chili's, all really great brands offering something which is around the 30 to 35 pound mark. And anyone who's played in the summer knows how much it sucks to be drinking warm water midway around. And one of the keys to golf is to stay hydrated. So something like that, which can be used for cold water in the summer, but then also for like coffee on cold mornings out on the golf course in the winter. Yeah, good option. Finally on the hundred pound and under list is golf balls. A little bit boring maybe, you know, a little bit obvious, difficult to get right. Make sure you're checking the person's bag or you ask them again, make sure you get the right golf balls because you know, 40, 50 pound a dozen, they are not cheap but you get the right golf balls. You know, most people will play Titleist, Strixon, TaylorMade, Callaway, get something of a, a good quality, then uh, usually pretty appreciated. Everyone, regardless of how good they're at golf, always needs golf balls. On to the over 100 pound category, and I'm kicking this off with a specialist custom fitting. Now, when I say that, I'm thinking kind of driver, uh, well, any kind of woods, irons, wedges, putter. Going to a specialist custom fitter to do that properly and right can be absolutely invaluable to your golf game. You're looking about 150 pounds for a specialist fitting like that of you know, one of driver, irons, putter. Absolutely worth the money. It's something which a lot of people wouldn't buy themselves and I think that's why it makes a really good gift. Next on the list, I have a golf stuff organizer. Now you may have seen this before. They are great, they're little kind of golf caddy type things where you can put a couple of bags, you can put shoes, you can put golf balls, you can put all your golf stuff in them and it just tucks away neatly into a corner of a room. Usually around £125, again you can get more expensive if you get them made in specific ways or get them bigger or smaller whatever, but a really good idea for someone who has a lot of golf clutter and you just want to get it all tucked away neatly. Then creeping up a little bit in price you could look at something like a golf watch. These do, again, vary pretty significantly in price, depending on what you're looking at getting. You can get yeah, your basic Garmin, which actually could be under hundred pounds, but then you could go all the way up to the Tag Heuer, which are yeah, thousands. Something right in the middle, you could get a good Garmin for about 250 pounds, which again, for a golf lover, a golf watch is really, really useful. I actually use my Apple watch a lot, but golf GPS on a watch, helps massively when you're out in the course. In and around that same kind of price, you could look at range finders. Now, again, quite a few options out there. Bushnell and Garmin, again, do some great options that are about 400 pounds, but you could also get something like a Precision Pro or even a uh, ShotScope, which is about 180 pounds. So just kind of flirting with that 200 pound mark and you can get a really good range finder. You can get them a lot cheaper. You can get them for 40 or 50 pounds. I would err on the side of caution when you're looking at those kind of non-branded ones because generally speaking, they're not as accurate as something which is a lot more money. So cheaper ones are maybe best to avoid, but they're an option if you want to go down that route. Jumping up again, you could then look at something like a mobile launch monitor. 
Now these are usually about 400 to 500 pounds. You know, you can get them from Garmin or from Rapsodo. And they're great, portable, lightweight, ideal for someone who is taking their training, or their practice, their golf practice really seriously. Obviously in that over hundred pound bracket, there are so many other things that you could, you could go for. There are you know, golf equipment, clubs, bags, clothing. I haven't touched on any of those because a lot of that is personal to the golfer. You know, especially when it comes to clubs and clothing, you should probably ask the golfer before you go buying things. Don't just go out and buy expensive set of, sets of clubs for someone who plays golf because they may not like them and it could just be money wasted. If you're gonna do that, then I would suggest giving them like a voucher. And that kind of brings me on to the next and final point. Vouchers are always appreciated, whether it's a you know, retail voucher for an American golf or a golf superstore, or even a voucher for a golf trip. It just, it allows a bit more freedom. You know, it may be a bit boring, but if you're really struggling, then vouchers are a pretty safe bet. So that's my kind of rough guide to inspiration for golf gifts. That's absolutely non-exhaustive. There are so many other options out there, but hopefully that gives you a little bit of an idea of what you could get and, you know, maybe even some inspiration for something else that you could get. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.